What's going on everyone? Hobo Handliner here, coming at you live from a very, very snowy day uh, in my part of Pennsylvania. So it's a good day for me to do something I've been wanting to do for a while, and I think you guys are really going to like this one. So I'm going to make a hobo bum fishing lure out of a really nice gold colored bottle cap that me and the dogs found while we were out hiking. I promise I found it. It doesn't even have a brand name on it or any patterns. It's just gold. Found it while we were walking out by uh, one of our favorite trails. Actually, it was the day I filmed the Beaver Dam video. Found that out close to where I parked the car. So I'm going to show you guys how, right now, with very minimal tools, how to make basically kind of like a spoon lure. Um, it's going to have a lot of flash and movement. It'll have a treble hook on it and some split rings. I'm going to use a little nail that I found, a little rusty nail, and a hammer to punch the holes, and my Leatherman tool to uh, basically basically create the lure. Uh, I think you guys will really find this interesting, um, really useful for like a survival situation. Um, you don't really need any power tools. You're just going to, you could even use a rock to punch the holes with a nail or a screw or anything you find in a piece of wood. Maybe uh, you're in an old house or an old barn and you find some kind of hardened piece of hardware to punch these holes. So yeah, I haven't actually made one of these up until today. So this will be the first time I've ever made one and it'll all be for you guys. So uh, let's get to it. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you out there. All right, guys. So here we are. Here's that bottle cap I found. And go figure, it's actually one of the best colors I know of for spoon or spinning lures. So I found that, I promise it was outside. I just was walking around, found it. It's not like I, you know, kept one off of a drink that I had. I, I actually scavenged this. Got a little bitty treble hook um, out of my tap, tackle box. Obviously you could uh, take these off of an old lure and clean them up and use, uh, or you could even use a non-treble hook, that would work too, but this is gonna have your better chance of hooking a fish. You got I'm going to go with a little swivel here. Probably isn't needed, but I think it'll give it some extra movement. Two, um, two split rings. And here's that rusty nail that I found. Probably a picture hanging nail or something. And that'll be what we use to punch the holes. We will be using my Leatherman Wave multi-tool. And just a cheapo hammer to make this lure. So... Let's get started right now. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to try to fold this in half and then flatten it with my pliers. And you should be able to get this most of the way. There we go. Most of the way with your hands. Now I'm going to try to crush it down real good. Try to make it as flat as I can with the pliers. I should be able to get it pretty flat to where I can punch holes through both sides with one go. Now, it, even if it has some texture from your plier marks, that's okay. This is supposed to resemble a bait fish when it's fluttering in the water. And any of these little ridges should catch the sunlight or whatever light is in the spot you're fishing at. And give it some nice shimmer. Let's see, almost there. Looking good. Let's see. Huh. That should be about good. All right. Maybe a little more here, a little more flattening to do. Just take your time. Make it as straight and as flat as you can. I think that'll be all right. All right. There we go. So that, see those little ridges? I feel like those should catch the sunlight pretty good. Now there will be a part two to this video of me actually using this lure trying to catch a fish. I might make a couple more in case this one gets snagged or I lose it or whatever. Um, but for this video, I'm just gonna show you guys making this one. So yeah, it's nice and flat, nice and thin. Now we're gonna punch our holes. I'm gonna move all my stuff off so it doesn't uh, vibrate and shake off the cutting board. There, right here, should be able to see that. I'm just gonna take this and as close to the corner as I can. Might be a little tricky because it's not perfectly flat. 
All right, that actually went through. Now I'm gonna flip it around and go from the other side. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little hole there. Now I can open that up if I need to, which I might, I might need to. Um, but at least we have a starter hole. Now let me do the other side. And my nail bent a little bit, so I'm just gonna straighten that out. There we go. Do the other side. And again, in the bush or in a survival situation, you can just use a rock or anything to hammer these holes in. I mean, you'll probably be able to have some tools at your disposal in a survival situation, or you can find some, but a rock would probably work. So there we go, we got our two holes. Now, I might have to open these up a bit just for the split rings to be able to go through, but this might be good enough. We'll give it a shot. Now, bear with me. This part is the part, I'm gonna sit down here. This is the part I assumed might be a little bit tricky because I don't have the tool to open up split rings. I just am using my Leatherman tool for you guys. So bear with, please don't mind. I'm not editing this out. I wanna show you guys how you can do it and just what it's gonna take with some pretty minimal tools. There we go, I got it to open a little bit. I'm gonna slide that over. Slide it over. See if I can get it down in. Again, bear with me. I think I might have it. I think I got it. Yep, yep, looks like I got it threaded through. Good stuff. All right, come on, baby. I mean, not perfect, but I got it on. It's definitely something to tie your line to. Got that ring on. I kind of squished it a little bit with my pliers, but it's still, still a snap swivel, still something to tie to. Or I'm sorry, still a split ring, not a snap swivel. That's going to be on the other side, or maybe this one. I'm trying to straighten it because I, I opened it up a little bit as I was doing that, and I... There we go. That's that's pretty good. All right. So there we go. Got our little split ring from the one side. We'll do it to the other. Going to do the same thing. Maybe try to go a little easier on this thing so it doesn't permanently stay open. You got to spread it, but just enough. I think, uh, I think I got a good start here. And now this, again, might be due to how far my holes are from the edge and how big they are, which you can, if you take your time more than I am right now, you should be able to, ooh, didn't have it open enough. You should be able to um, get those kinks worked out yourselves when you're doing this. I think our power just went out. Yes, it did. That's the snowstorm for you. We lose power all the time in the winter here. Got an old apartment. All right. Got this one almost in. The second one is proving to be a little bit more difficult. So again, just bear with me. This is all <laughs> redneck ingenuity right here. This is not professional. I'm just figuring it out as I go. There we go. I think I got it started. All right. Yep. There we go. All right. Going to pull that through. I think this one might go a little bit better. Yes, it did. And it didn't open up too bad. All right. Got both, both sides of a split ring on them. Now we just got to put a hook on the one and the swivel on the other. So um, let me get this opened up. Mm -hmm. I'll do it from that side. This is a little tricky. 
with these tools that I have, but it's not impossible. So again, like I said, I think you guys would be able to uh, work out these kinks when you try it. And it would work just fine. All right, got our hook on the one. And we're gonna get our swivel, our snap swivel on the other. And then that should be it. Perfect thing to do on a day where it's snowing and the power is now out. How about it? Huh. I can do this hobo handlining thing even without actually being outside. All right. Come on, slide in there. Had a girl. And there we go. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a hobo <laughs> style fishing lure made with a nail, a pair of pliers, and a hammer inside during a snowstorm. So I'll get a better shot for the closing, but I think that'll do. So I'll get a better shot of it for you guys right now. And there you have it, folks. Oops. A beer can, I'm sorry, beer bottle top fishing lure made with a multi-tool, a nail, and a hammer. That, I think, if you look at that, that should make one heck of a uh, bait fish representation in the water. It should flop around and move pretty good. It should even make a little noise. So, hope you guys enjoy this one. Uh, again, I'm inside. Didn't have a uh, very great camera angles or anything. I apologize for that. But I still think this one you guys will find very useful. I mean, that, that looks like a fish to me. Look at it. I mean, the, the, the little holes I nailed in almost look like eyes. I just, I think that'll work. So, stay tuned for part two. I should be able to use this. Hopefully in the near future. It is winter. Um, I could use this in a maybe a creek or something, but right on. So sorry for all the poor quality <laughs> and the tripod angle and all that, but I hope that one was handy for you guys. And I will see you in part two. Thanks for tuning in. I'm the Hobo Handliner signing out. See you guys in part two. Right on.